Hi, I am Alan Rich. You are on TV Jesus Christ on the program Rooted in the Bible. We are now in uh, a teaching in progress. If you have missed the first uh, parts, uh, please go to tvjesuschrist.com in the archives. It is very important to see from start uh, to end to understand. You are going to know how to be uh, freed from any bondage, from any sin, if you are slave of any sin, uh, of any spirit, of any people, of any situation, how to be free. This is the teaching uh, we are uh, seeing uh, right now. We saw five important uh, points to understand and recognize that you have sinned, to understand too uh, the consequences of the sin, Three, to understand that Jesus has paid the price of your sin and what price did he pay on the cross. Four, to understand that you can uh, buy back your sin, that it is a gift, it is grace. And the fifth point that we are we're studying uh, is uh, that all this means that this leads sorry, to repentance. And we are going to see what repentance is. So, please, if you know what repentance is, or if you think you know, don't say, oh, I know it already, I'm going to see the next show. This is very important. We are in a progression of teaching, and I don't want you to miss uh, anything. So, we can see we can say what is repentance what kind of repentance how is it working and why should you repent from your old sin of course before you were a christian but also from the sin since you were since you are a christian amen we see that god wants you to repent and uh, it's not a, a wish it's not a suggestion it is a command an obligation because god knows that you have to go through repentance through through the process of repentance to get to freedom and as i say maybe you have repented but my question is have you repented the right way or did you repent it deeply or superficially, you know, lightly? We see in uh, the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 30 to 31, truly, really, uh, these times of ignorance God overlooked, but now God commands all men, everywhere to repent because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom he has ordained he has given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead of course Jesus Christ amen so God now command you to repent as I say, you may say, I have repented already, so it would be, interested, it would be interesting to uh, know what concept you have of repentance. What, if I ask you, what is repentance? You know, if you are watching this on the internet, you can stop the, the video and you can write down everything you know okay this is repentance and after you compare with what I'm going to explain with the Word of God so we're going to go deeply in what is repentance amen so number one about repentance you have to realize the the sin that you did this is another list. It's not the same list as, la as last week. Huh? The, this concern, but it, there are some things that seem same. 
this is for repentance. You have to realize that you have done something wrong. You, maybe, you know, it's not, I'm not telling you something wrong is mean, it means, for example, oh, uh, I went to see a sorcerer, a witch doctor, a marabou, a taleb, whatever, a shaman. You know, maybe you, 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 if you did this, you say, oh yeah, this was a sin I did. I, I, I made a mistake. I was Christian, but I was desperate. Okay, I made the mistake. I sinned. You know what I mean? But maybe you did something that you don't realize it's a sin. Maybe you have opened a door without really understanding it. As I said, maybe out of uh, lack of knowledge. Or maybe people have done things to you, but you got into uh, anger, resentment, or you didn't fight back the spirits that came into your life. So you, you have, first of all, number one, you have to uh, accept and admit that you did an error in the process. It's not a question of, be, of being totally responsible or big uh, uh, sin or small sin. No, no. You just have to recognize that you, in this situation, even if it's out of lack of knowledge, you made an error. Huh? Jesus said in Luke chapter 5, uh, verse 32, I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. If you didn't make no sin, why do you repent? If you are righteous, why, uh, why uh, bother you know, to repent? But if you think you're righteous, you've got a big problem because it means you didn't realize yet that you are a sinner or that you are sinned. And you have a problem dealing with sin. It means you don't understand uh, what is sin. And I hope that this series of uh, messages will help you in that. We see in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 23. How can you say, I am not polluted? How can you say, oh, I have not, I have not gone after the Baals? It's a, it's a god. See your way in the valley. Know what you have done. Amen. When he says, see your way in the valley, you know, in other version, you can, it's, it's, it's like, if I tell you, you say you didn't go through that valley? Look, you, look you, your tracks. I can see, uh, you know, where you passed, your feet have walked there. How can you say you didn't go there? You know? How can you say I'm not polluted? I'm not a sinner. I didn't make any mistake. You did it. And you, you, you must realize it. In, also in Jeremiah uh, chapter 3, verse 13. Only an, uh, acknowledge your iniquity. Acknowledge that you have transgressed, uh, you have transgressed against the Lord your God and have scattered your charms to alien deities under every green trees and that you have not obeyed my voice, say the Lord. Admit it. Admit it that you have iniquities. Admit it that you have transgressed against the Lord. Admit it that you have been to alien deities. Admit it that you did not obey the voice of God always. Amen. We see also in uh, Psalm 38 verse 18. And, and David was declaring his iniquities and sin. Uh, he said, I will declare my iniquity. I will be in anguish for my sin. But my enemies are vigorous and they are strong. And those who hate me wrongfully have multiplied. So we see that, you know, sometimes God allows that we have an opposition or we have enemies so that we come, uh, we draw near to him to ask him forgiveness or to uh, uh, come into his presence. Sometimes it's the only way that God finds for us to come to him. 
in Psalm uh, 51, verse 3 and 4, also David said, I have, I acknowledge my transgression and my sins is always before me. Against you, God, you only I have sinned and done this evil in your sight. Amen. You have to realize what is sin in the eyes of God. Maybe for you sin or repentance is something light. It's shallow. You know, if you don't understand what fire can make to your skin, you, you will not behave the same near fire that if you realize the danger or maybe if you have been burned once or if you have seen somebody been burned if you think that fire just a little warm or it, it does a little problem you will play with it and put your hand in the fire but if you know that if you put your hand in the fire you will be handicapped for life you will not play with this so that is why I say it is so important to this number, this point number one, to realize what is sin. And if you don't realize, you say, "Yeah, I would like, but I don't understand." Come to God, because you know, God wants you to understand things. He wants you to have knowledge. If you, He wants you to progress. And if you ask something to God in the name of Jesus Christ, in the will of God, He will answer you. And if you come to God and say, God, am I, am I playing with sin? Am I not realizing what is sin in your eyes? Was my conversion not deep enough? Was my repentance not deep enough? If so, reveal to me, show me. I'm telling you, God is going to show it to you. Be careful, don't be foolish and just say that prayer uh, lightly. Because when you ask something to God, God is answering you. So beware of what you are saying and what you are asking because then God will start to move in your life. And He not always answers the way we are expecting. We are going to see the second point. After realizing that you have sinned, you have to regret having sinned. You have to regret sinning. Now many people, when I ask you before, what, what, what do you think repentance is? Or if I would say, tell me in one word or in one sentence what repentance is. I'm sure that many of you would say, uh, repentance is regretting. Well, I'm going to tell you that Repentance is not regretting. Regretting is one part, one part in the process of repenting. But it's not just uh, sorry, uh, regretting. Okay? If, for example, every day, every morning, I go to work and uh, I take, I steal uh, the newspaper of my neighbor, I may never regret because I say he's, he's, uh, this guy is uh, is rich and he don't even realize and he has many newspaper. I don't have newspaper, whatever. Huh? I I think like this, you know, to to justify myself. And I still every day have no problem. Okay, this is one uh, one thing. Another thing now, I, st I start to have problem with my conscience. Uh, people are telling me, you know, it's, it's, it's bad, it's not good. Even if it's a small thing, you shouldn't do it. And then I think about it and I regret doing it. You know, I say, yeah, I shouldn't do it. But then every morning, the next day, and every morning, I keep on taking the newspaper. So what it means that 
what I want to say is it's not because you are you regretting to do something that you are going to stop doing it. You can have regret all your life doing something, but keep on doing it. So, as I say, and I'm going to conclude uh, in this show, we're going to see uh, next week, uh, uh, we're going to keep on on this uh, topic of regret. To regret is part of the process of repentance, but repentance is not only uh, regret. I am uh, Evangelist Alan Rich, you are on TV Jesus Christ com on the Rooted in the Bible program and I tell you uh, I see you next week and uh, God bless you bye bye